What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all so much for being here. We are on day three of our 25 days of Christmas. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead. Let's jump right in. All right, you guys. So today is day, it's December 3rd already, which is totally crazy. Um, but there's a lot going on um, this weekend for our family. It's Friday and um like tonight i have a women's ornament exchange and so you guys are going to see bits and pieces of that on tomorrow's video um because i'll add that into the next day's video and then on saturday my daughter is um she does gymnastics she's in competitive gymnastics so she has a christmas parade it's our um our local christmas parade i am here with the dogs so you may hear them again um but so you'll see that a little bit on Sunday and then it's just crazy. We have so much going on this weekend, but I cannot believe it's already December 3rd. <laughs> that is so just crazy insane to me, but I'm excited about today's topic because I want y'all to be thinking while we go through God's word, we open our advent calendars, all the things about wrapping it up. Okay. Like wrapping paper, boxes, bags, bows, tinsel, all the things. What do you do? Because your girl goes simple ish <laughs> and, and we tell people all the time our family we live by the ish so we're gonna talk about that a little later we're gonna open it up in God's Word I mean we're in Isaiah Isaiah is probably one of my most favorite books in the Bible I wouldn't say the most favorite but it's one of my top favorite probably one of my favorites in the Old Testament besides like Proverbs and Psalms and Ruth and Esther and yeah all those two um <laughs> but um I just love Isaiah. Some of my favorite scripture comes out of the book of Isaiah. And so we are actually in Isaiah 11. Isaiah 11, and we're going to read verses 1 and 2. So real simple. And you're probably going to think about it for a minute and be like, how in the world is this related to Christmas? But I'll tell you. So again, it's Isaiah 11, verses 1 and 2. It says, Then a shoot will grow from the stump of Jesse, and a branch from his roots will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him, a spirit of wisdom and understanding, a spirit of counsel and strength, a spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. So, y'all, I just, I love scripture. Can I just tell y'all that? Like, God's word is so amazing. And I'll be honest, when I first read these verses, um, I tried to read them like the night before. And so when I read them last night, I was just kind of like, okay, I'm pretty sure... I know like how to relate it to Christmas and all that kind of stuff but I was intrigued as to why the person who put together the Bible reading plan did verses 1 and 2 because really it's verse 1 that really talks about um, what we can relate to Christmas and how we can relate this because it's talking about then a shoot will grow from the stump of Jesse and a branch from his roots will bear fruit so Jesse is the father of King David and so, if you think about, we know that Jesus comes from the line of King David. He comes from that descendant line. And so, when it talks about the shoot, there was like 600 years of, after David's reign to when Jesus came. That was kind of like a uh period, if I'm being honest. Like 600 years that there was no king authority that came out of that lineage. Um, and then Jesus, but God, <laughs> came along and it just kind of changed everything. So if you think about it, when it talks about the shoot will grow from the stump of Jesse, a stump, most of the times when you see a dead tree stump, it's just that. It's dead. It's like the tree is no longer living. You've cut it off. You're really wanting to get the stump. We have some neighbors across the street who every now and then, every few days, they're burning a stump in their front yard trying to get the stump to go to go away. We have one in our backyard that finally, it's just, it's kind of gross. It's finally just rotted enough that we're able to like kick it in and it's just becoming kind of mulch for that part of ground, of the ground. And we're probably going to have to get some bags of dirt to fill in. But like when you think of a stump, you think of deadness. That's just kind of what I think of. Or probably as a kid, you think of like jumping off of it or playing on it or something like that. But this is talking about a shoot will grow from it. So it's talking about new life. A new life is going to come out of the deadness. And so after that 600 years of deadness, ish years, I'm not, I don't want you to think I'm being exact here, but it is around 600 years of deadness, a new life is going to come from that lineage of Jesse, just like it says, the stump of Jesse. 
and a branch from his roots will bear fruit. And that's talking about Jesus. Jesus is coming. And that's what they're, he's, you know, prophesying here is like out of that reign, out of David's lineage is going to come the Savior of the world, a new king, a, a godly king, a heavenly king, not a worldly king, but a heavenly king. Y'all, that is so crazy. And then we get to verse 2. And it says, The Spirit of the Lord will rest on him, a spirit of wisdom and understanding, a spirit of counsel and strength, a spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. These are the attributes of God, you guys. They're the attributes of Jesus. They're telling, you know, the Spirit of the Lord is, so when you talk about the Holy Spirit, you're talking about Jesus. When you're talking about Jesus, you're talking about God. When you're talking about God, you're talking about the Holy Spirit. They're all, it's the you know, the Trinity is all three in one. Three individual beings, all is one, is the same thing. It's just so crazy. And so when it's talking about the Spirit of the Lord, it's talking about Jesus. And it's, it's His, you know, a spirit of wisdom, understanding, counsel, strength, knowledge, and fear of the Lord. And it's so crazy when you think about all those things. The wisdom, the understanding, counsel, and strength, the knowledge, the fear of the Lord. All those things. When we have the Holy Spirit living with inside of us... Jesus came as a baby and brought all these attributes with him as a baby. And then he grew up and at 33 and a half years old or whatever, he died on a cross for you and for me with all these attributes because of all these attributes. And then three days later, he rose again with all these attributes. And then he sent the Holy Spirit with all these attributes to live inside of us. How crazy is that? That if you are a born-again believer, if you've believed in Jesus and you've professed him as your Savior, then this time of year you can find peace. Maybe it's a hard time of year for you. I don't know. It may be. But you can find comfort knowing that you have the wisdom and understanding. You have counsel. You have strength. You have knowledge and the fear of the Lord because the Holy Spirit is living within inside you. And he's going to help you get through whatever it is. That's just so cool, y'all. So cool. And all of this, we're able to have all of this because Jesus came as a baby. God sent his son as a baby, knowing good and well that he was going to grow to die on a cross. Oh, wow. So, I don't know. That just really struck me as awesome, you guys, just to think about that, you know, 600 some odd years before Jesus ever came. Probably way before that, before Jesus ever came to this earth. They knew the attributes of him and they were talking about it and it's just it's so cool you guys don't forget how don't forget the goodness of God I guess is my way to say that just don't forget that goodness that he has and that he brings and that if you love him and you've accepted him as your Lord and Savior and he lives inside you then you have that goodness with inside of you as well and maybe you don't then definitely you know reach out reach out to myself um you can comment down below whatever but i just feel like that goodness that peace that love that counsel that strength that knowledge that wisdom that's what christmas is all about so just really good stuff you guys oh i kind of got the little you know holy goosey bumpies but um good good stuff so we're gonna go ahead because i need a snack i actually didn't end up eating lunch today i went christmas shopping and was getting something for my son and the lines took freaking forever <laughs> and which is okay it's all good it's Christmas time you know I was joyful but I didn't have time to stop and get something to eat for lunch on the way back so I did have a little bit of a snack when I got home but I'm ready for some Reese's chocolate so we're gonna find day three maybe oh it's over here today I'm wondering if we're getting our four Reese's pieces again today I figure we probably will yeah I was gonna say oh they gypped me I only got three but no there's four in there so yeah if you Miss day one, y'all need to go back and watch that when I realized that it says here, Reese's Pieces, peanut butter candy, and a crunchy shell, 18 four-piece packets. <laughs> so there's 18 days in here that have four-piece packets. And then what is that? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22, 30, 24, six days. <laughs> oh, I guess I could have read six. <laughs> have peanut butter cups, which is what yesterday was. So I figure we're going to get like two or three and then a peanut butter cup. Two or three and then a peanut butter cup. So, um, so yeah. So go ahead and tell me, you guys, 
when it comes to wrapping, so you probably saw the thumbnail, I'll show you. What we do when it comes to like wrapping gifts and all that kind of stuff is I like all the paper to coordinate. It doesn't have to actually match per se, but I at least want it the same colors. I want it to look cute under the tree and pretty. That's just my, my thing. Um, I've known people who each kid has a different wrapping paper. We've done that before when the kids were younger. We'd love whatever their favorite like cartoon or whatever or princess for her or if he was into, you know, um, Batman or whatever, whatever it was. And um, that was what we would get their wrapping paper. And it may not be all the same, but it would be of, you know, like if it was Belle, because that's my favorite princess from Beauty and the Beast, then I'd have different kind of Belle paper and that would be for her. Or if it was, you know, Batman and had different kind of Batman paper and that was for him. Um, I can remember several years of doing it that way. And to where now, we kind of just try to get similar paper. And so I found some of the cutest wrapping paper, you guys, at Marshall's. Um, and these rolls are from Slay Hill Trading Company. And so, of course, it's the buffalo plaid. I'm just, I know, I feel like I'm a, almost a season behind <laughs> with the buffalo plaid, but I love it. I'm not exactly sure what we did last year. I cannot remember for the life of me. But it may have been something simpler. Simpler. Similar. There we go. Um, but yeah, the red, black, and then the white and black. They also have like a gray and black. And I, I may have to go back if they have it. But they were only $2.99 a roll. So... I have two of each of those. And then Chris found this at Walmart just because I know we're, we're gonna run out of that probably more than likely. And so it's a little bit lighter color, like if you see the Marshalls kind. So it's a little bit more muted. But I figure with both of those, and then this is a huge roll. Um, it's the Holiday Time Premium Heavyweight Gift Wrap. And this is 24 yards for $4.98. So, we got that also, and let me see, these were, oh, it doesn't, meters, Whew. 12 feet, so there you go, it's 12 feet, 3.66 meters for $2.99, so probably, you know, definitely, you know, if you want to go the cheaper route, you get you something like this, because you're getting a lot more of it, but I really liked it all, so, but tell me, like, what do you, like, you know, do you put something, do you get the decorative boxes to where you don't have to actually, you know, wrap it, you can just put it in the decorative box and be done with it. Um, I'm one of those who we have the decorative boxes and then I wrap it anyway. I love to unwrap paper. I like to see the people unwrap paper. Um, I'm more of a gift giver than a gift getter, I guess. A gift receiver. I love to give presents. Absolutely love to give gifts. Um, and I like to just see people's faces. That just, that's why probably one of my most favorite parts of Christmas morning. Um, for us and we'll kind of go through a little bit later in the 25 days we're going to kind of go through our Christmas morning um so that you can see that and I don't know I may actually try to film it we'll see um it's just a fun time we have just a, a really good time as a family and the dogs get all excited because they get treats too and it's just really fun so um but then like when it comes to bags are you all about the cute bags that match and get the tissue paper for our um, like for all the adults in the family, so like my mom and dad and grandma and his mom and dad and aunts and brothers and sisters-in-laws and all that kind of stuff. I love doing, so back up a little bit. And um, one of my favorite things also is stockings. I like all the little things. Um, so I love, and Chris knows this, um, stocking is like my favorite thing to open and dig into on Christmas morning. Absolutely love them but they're also one of my favorite things to fill and so I fill a stocking for every single member of our family and it's just little go to the Dollar Tree you're probably like holy cow we do get them like one or two usually the adults will get like one bigger thing but then I get a stocking for everybody and we'll go Dollar Tree I'll, I'll do that one day we'll have one of the days of the 25 I'll show you what I put in my little stockings let me know down below if that's something you're interested in um, it excites me, so I'm probably going to do it whether you are or not, um, <laughs> just so you know. But, but yeah, I love it. I go to the Dollar Tree, and they have, like, aromatherapy, like, um, headache rubs that you can get, and they work wonders. They're amazing. But then I also just get stuff um, while I'm out of Walmart and just different things. And then I try to do at least one thing that, like, the men get certain things and the women get certain things. And so it's just really cool. It's fun. I absolutely love it. Everybody gets a stocking. So, um so yeah, tell me below, what are your traditions when it comes to wrapping paper? I used to have a boss who she would wrap um, all of the 
like certain gifts or whatever in a certain paper and then some of her bigger gifts or whatever be back wrapped in a different paper i'm not that talented i just usually do it i love tags too so i got cute gift tags this year to put everybody's names on it bows do you do bows we don't do bows um on ours just because normally they fall off under the tree and they annoy me um, i'm just gonna be honest but um yeah we normally just do the paper and I think even several years I even just like got really lazy and just like wrote their names on the paper in a black sharpie now I do a gift tag so at least get that but I do love it it's just fun and I love my favorite thing is I'll wrap back here in our bedroom and then I'll take it all out into the front and so each of the kids are like looking and they're like ooh, 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 what you know is that one for me is that one for me is that one for me and so they know like they kind of like want to dig through them it's, it's just fun I absolutely love doing gifts so um, but let me know what are your wrapping traditions um, are you, a, you know, are you a rapper? Are you a boxer? Are you a bagger? Oh, look at there! You can be a rapper, a boxer, or a bagger. You, you choose. Um, or are you one of all three? There you go. So, <laughs> you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, I don't know if we can handle more, more than 25 days of you. So, it's all good though. Um, okay, let's do the chapstick. So, you probably saw if you watched yesterday's video, day two's video, um, I ended up opening the vanilla mint. <laughs> I wasn't going to because I still have my holiday cocoa um, chapstick that I absolutely love. And I'm going to put some on right now because I haven't yet. There we go. Um, But I took it to work, so I can't show you. But it was, it smelled, this one smells good too. It smells like chocolate. But I just love the way these things smell. I love everything about them. So, we're going to go, like I said, remember this one just kind of goes in order. So, we're going to go to day three. What do y'all think it's going to be? Is it going to be another one? I th There's one in here that's just going to be a cherry. And I'm not a cherry person. So, maybe it'll be the cherry. <laughs> y'all, I called it. I called it. Oh, my goodness. It is totally the classic cherry. So, I will not be using this one because you may not know, I'm about to tell you, I don't like cherry anything. Um, I'm just not a huge fan. So, I'll either see if one of my kids want this, my husband wants it. If not, I know my dad will because my dad absolutely, and some of these I may end up putting in their um, stocking. So, that may go in his stocking because I know he does the cherry chapstick. So, um, <laughs> He's a, he does that and like strawberry and then just the basic one. So, you guys, this advent calendar from chapstick I highly recommend if you're a chapstick person and you just like different flavors of chapstick it's so fun this has been so cool and I'm excited I'm sad it's only 12 days and then we'll move on to the Target Beauty Box one but I'm almost like dang I should have done this one last but it's cool I'm excited to be getting them so all right you guys definitely again let me know down below what kind of are you a rapper a boxer or a bagger are you one of all three do you do bows all the things um, and then, yeah, just remember that our God is so good and he has so many amazing attributes and he sent his son to die for us, um, and as a baby, and that's what we're celebrating this Christmas is just how good God is. And so I'm just so grateful and thankful to be able to come to you guys every single night. Let me know what you're thinking so far of this Advent series. I did have somebody text me yesterday and say that they loved day, no, two days ago and say they loved day one. So um, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. That, that made me smile. So thank you. Um, and yeah, just let me know what you think. So see how it's going. And then we've got a busy weekend. So there's going to be some fun stuff and all the next coming videos. So yeah, y'all have a wonderful rest of your Friday day three of this advent 25 days to Christmas. So definitely if you do like these kind of videos, if you like unboxings, if you like clothing hauls, if you like Dollar Tree and Target videos and you know, vlogging and our crazy ministerial lives and all the things, then definitely click that um, subscribe button. Then that way you'll be able to know when I post new videos. If you click the little bell, it'll give you an email notification anytime I post new videos. And then also if you did like this one, give it a big thumbs up. It literally just makes me smile and I just truly appreciate it. So, so thank you guys so much and I will see y'all right back here tomorrow. Bye y'all.